How about darkness before harvest? Uh, this is something that a lot of folks have done over the years. I've heard benefits, everything from more trichomes are produced, secondary metabolites, ripening. There's so many different things that are said in regards to giving your, per- your plant a period of darkness before harvest. Is giving your plants a period of darkness before harvest beneficial at all? Mm, I would say largely probably not when you look at the underlying mechanics of how um, certain compounds can be produced, like the monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes, things like that. Um, you know, THC, CBD, all of these compounds, they're very energy intensive compounds, which is why they require exposure to direct light. You know, if you're growing some of these plants in a, you know, like far away from the light under low light intensity with low pressure and low stress overall, you're probably not going to get the best results. But if you have a high intensity grower environment with high intensity lights, that light energy is directly what feeds those biosynthetic pathways. And so by cutting out that light energy entirely, you're actually directly bottlenecking the process. And instead of creating a a greater throughput in that particular pathway, you, you might stimulate the plant to respond in a particular way, but it's not going to be the the type of response that's fundamentally hardwired and linked to the light energy coming in and then being utilized through a very complex process, obviously photosynthesis first, and then the sugars being transported, broken down, and then, you know, the, the terpene synthase enzymes acting on them and polyketide synthase enzymes acting on them too, to create all of tolic acid. Um, these things are fundamentally driven by exposure to light. So I would say that it's a little bit of a misconception or a myth. However, there are um, examples of you know some compounds that might be produced by the plants, which create a little bit more a rounder or nuanced experience. Maybe this is more for people who are connoisseurs and aren't necessarily just seeking a high concentration of active metabolites, but they want that broad spectrum of metabolites. Um, there could be something there, but it would be largely a personal bias more than like an objectively true thing. Um, I think it's objectively true to say that you would probably um, see a decrease in the overall concentration of some of these metabolites, particularly because, again, their biosynthesis and accumulation is tied directly to the light energy that's coming in. And if you break that, no way. This clip is brought to you by Happy Hydro. For all your garden equipment needs, visit happyhydro.com. Link is in the video description and use the discount code MrGrowIt 